Well, thank you, Madam Chair, and I too want to thank you for your tremendous leadership here at the Small Business Committee. Um, not only do I consider you a personal friend, but a, a giant advocate for small business. And when our country had one of our biggest economic downturns, there was a lot of discussion about how to help the big banks. In fact, in my opinion, we kind of gave them access to the keys to the Treasury, something I didn't quite appreciate the fact how that was done. But uh, you were steadfast in the Small Business Act of 2010 in advocating for small businesses and trying to come up with ways to help protect them as they were getting hammered by new regulations and this economic downturn when performing lines of credit were pulled right out from under people. So um, I just could not be more proud of your leadership in this committee. People didn't realize what a what an advocate Mary Landry was when she took over that committee. And I actually feel like she put uh, the small business activities in that battle of 2010. You know, we had to work with uh, Senator Voinovich and Senator Lemieux to finally get a bill that tried to protect small business. But it was the cry in our country at that time that small businesses were just getting hammered on this uh, downturn and really really, in some ways, almost being a, a scapegoat for what had happened at a much larger level. I don't, I don't think a lot of these small banks uh, or even the businesses that they were serving were involved in derivative activity, but yet they were the ones who took it right in the chin. So i just uh, very proud of your leadership on that and very proud of your leadership on this committee, and I know you're not going far. So the fact that we both serve on the Energy Committee and uh, this committee will certainly be looking for ways to work together. So thank you for that. And uh, Ms. Contreras Sweet, thank you so much for your willingness to serve. You've shown today you have a command of these uh, policy issues that we're going to be uh, looking uh, forward uh, to your activities on. And uh, I personally like that you're a good marketer. Anybody that knows push and pull technology marketing is... <laughs> Uh, is okay by me because to me a lot of the Small Business Administration is both push and pull. I mean part of it is getting people to understand what programs we have and what they can take advantage of and obviously um, getting them to work with us on those that need to be improved. One of the things of that Small Business uh, 2010 Jobs Act was the 504 refinancing program and that refinancing uh, expired in June of 2012, so I wanted to have your thoughts on whether you support uh, reauthorizing that section of the bill. Uh, thank you for um, speaking to 504. It's, a, it's an important product, and uh, to the extent that you were able to offer up the refi program, I, like, let me just tell you from my personal experience, it was very well received. At the onset, at the very beginning, I must say that we were trying to work our way through and try to understand it a little bit. But once we got it down is about when it's sunset. And so we were a little disappointed about that. As I understand it now, uh, the president is supportive. Uh, I. Uh, from the community understand the importance of the of the product and so to if I'm confirmed I'd be delighted to work with you and explore ways in which we can continue to fill that fill that important gap so is that you would support reauthorization of that I if uh, if given the opportunity I support the product I think it's an important tool for Americans today thank you thank you another program um, and again appreciate your perspective um, on small businesses and small business exports. My colleague from New Jersey mentioned, you know, technology and, you know, the state trade and export promotion program, the STEP program. Are you familiar with that program within? I am. The partnership with the states. Yes. yes. And I, you know, I am a huge believer in, you know, where we are right now in the context of an information age in a lot of products and services. And, but you got to add capital. And the U.S. has a lot of these, and so the STEP program in my state has been beneficial from uh, many, you know, many technology aspects. Uh, you know, they helped a program in my state grow to hundreds of new people on some swipe technology that right at the critical moment they got access to the Asian market. Just recently, some aviation companies, uh, Silicon Forest Electronics, a company in southwest Washington, got access to uh, some aviation sales because of the STEP program. A small 
company, Slingshot Sports in Stevens, Washington, very small, uh, you know, company, got access and, and helped, uh, you know, grow their business. So for me, uh, this, I want to get your thoughts on the STEP program and whether you support uh, continuing that or growing that effort, but um, we have huge opportunities to the Asian market in the Pacific Northwest, and we certainly want to see us use these promotions to help meet the agenda that the administration has on, mm -hmm. uh, you know, doubling the number of exports out of the United States, and certainly small businesses that could play a very big role in that. Mm -hmm. um, if you'll in indulge me, Senator, uh, first I just wanted to thank the state of Washington. When California was going through its energy crisis, the state of Washington really came forward and helped us through, and I will never forget that. So thank you to all of the good people in the state of Washington for all that they did for Californians in that very difficult period. Um, next, let me just uh, speak to STEP. What I like about STEP is uh, that it has three important components in my view, again, just from personal experience. I really appreciate that somebody can get in, come in and get some counseling I, uh, through a university, the partnerships with the universities, that it is state sponsored so that there's a, you know, that there's a relationship and a partnership with the, the state governments. And in many instances, this is where uh, uh, many of small businesses are a little more comfortable. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that it provides for introductions in many instances internationally. And so there's so many good components around STEP. And in a globalized economy, we have to find ways to make sure that small businesses too can compete in that. There is currently, in my view, with technology and all the other tools that are available to us, the lowest barrier to entry for a small business uh, uh, opportunity. And so to the extent that we can have programs like STEP, helping them, partnering with them, and providing them the right tools, I think that we can strengthen our ability to compete globally. Again, this is where the innovations are taking place. And, uh, and so why not let the small businesses also have a piece of that pie, a bite at that apple, to make sure that they're also partaking of the international globalized opportunities that are presenting themselves in an increasing way every year. So I believe in the program. I think it's, a, it's an important program. And the tools in it uh, support small business expansion in the international economies. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair.